Hi food heroes, and welcome to another OSU Nutrition Lesson Kitchen Edition. In case we haven't met before, my name is Miss Marson, and this is my bunny Julius. We both love to cook. I've been cooking for a long time, but Julius is still learning. So today, I thought I would show him how to be safe in the kitchen. Why don't you join us? In this video, you will learn the six rules to kitchen safety, how to wash your hands properly, recognize unsafe cooking techniques, and discover a new recipe you can try making at home using these safety rules. So let's get started. Rule number one, when you're in the kitchen, make sure there is an adult to help. Rule number two, always wash your hands with soap and warm water before you begin. Washing hands gets rid of germs that can make you or other people around you sick. Do you know how long to wash your hands? Try for at least 20 seconds. Also, when you cough or sneeze, make sure you cover your mouth and turn away from food and other people. Julius thinks it looks like I'm doing a dance when I sneeze. Hey Julia, save me some soap. I'm going to have to wash my hands again. Rule number three. Have everything you need for the recipe in front of you before you begin. Today, it looks like Julius is making us banana pancakes. Sounds so good. Rule number four. Make sure you follow the directions on the recipe. The directions tell us what to do. It's also a good idea to read through the entire recipe before starting. Rule number five. Don't taste or lick during food preparation. No, Julius! Remember, this recipe uses eggs and flour. Trying this banana pancake batter before it is cooked can make us sick. We can also spread germs this way. Rule number six, my favorite. Enjoy the food you made with your friends. After you are both done, make sure that you refrigerate any leftovers within two hours. Once the leftovers are put away, you can finish cleaning up. Great job today, food heroes. We did it. If you would like to try making the banana pancakes recipe at home, be sure to check out foodhero.org. Don't forget to practice what we learned today by asking an adult for help, washing your hands with soap and warm water, gathering all the ingredients first and following the directions, not tasting or licking during food prep, and cleaning up after you are done. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.